this video is going to be covering transparency and transparent materials within Unity and how to basically apply those using a PNG. I'm going to show you how to do it on a plant, although you can apply the same technique to hair, fabric or kind of like any other decorations basically that you need transparency on. All I've been doing here is just modelling a plane. Uh, it's a 4x4 square plane and I'm just making it more of a leafy shape because, like I said, I'm making a fern. I'm just unwrapping it, making sure that it's all relaxed and just exporting that so that I can start texturing it in Photoshop. What I'm doing now is just duplicating the plane that we've already unwrapped and rotating it around to make it more of an organic plant shape. I'm then going to scale all of the bottom ones that I've duplicated inwards so that they make a smaller layer on top. I'm then going to attach all of these together and go on to File, Export and Export Selected. So this is textures.com. It's a royalty free uh, texture website. It's really great. I just found this texture here of a fern and I'm going to use that for my UV. So I've just placed it over the top of the UV unwrap and all I need to do to do this in Unity is turn off the background and turn off the unwrap and save it as a PNG. Lastly, what I'm doing here in Unity is just dragging in my mesh and dragging in the textures that I've made so that I can create a material. So now we just need to drag our mesh into the viewport, click onto the material and make sure that we're on albedo there because that's where the texture is going to be. Add that fern texture there and as we drag it on you notice there's that weird blue kind of texture around it. If you ignore that for the moment because it's going to go transparent we just need to change the rendering mode to cut out and what that will do is it will take the background away like it is in the PNG and give you some transparency. So this is obviously a very rough looking fern and there's no normal maps on or roughness or anything like that. The only downside of doing this in Unity is it is a one-sided shape so there's no double-sided so if you look underneath it's transparent again. You can fix this though um, by adding this shader here so it's just a free shader that you can download from the Unity store and if you add that on it'll make the shape it'll make the uh, material two-sided and you won't have that problem anymore.